This could be a game changer. Oh no. Hang on a minute. Now I really feel like a flasher. I'm having regrets. A little birdie told me that supermarkets in the UK have really upped their clothing sections at the moment. And by a little birdie, I mean TikTok. It is all over my TikTok right now. Sainsbury's, Tesco. Apparently Tesco is the new Zara. Sainsbury's is the new monkey. I don't know what Asda is supposed to be actually. But my friends, when you see a little Instagram post pop up of the Lissy Roddy wearing George clothing, something in my mind said, Han, you've got to try this. This is the picture in question. This is what popped up and this is what sparked this video. I hopped onto the Asda website and you know what? There are some really nice pieces. So I decided to choose some and my order came to 153 pounds. So I hope this is worth it. I really got my fingers crossed. By the way, I've literally just collected this order, which is why I look like this. I just got home, threw on a bit of lipstick and well, do you know what? I'm gonna crack on because I'm so excited to open this bag. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite from this haul. First of all, Asda, could make your bags a little bit cuter. Maybe take some inspo from Boohoo, pretty little thing, make it pink, that would be an improvement. Big grey bag, not the most inspiring, but hopefully the clothes inside will inspire me more. It is literally like Aladdin's cave in here. First impressions, it's not in plastic packaging, so I do really like that. The only plastic bag is the grey one, and it's come with the hangers. My jeez. This gal's always running out of hangers. I'm literally just doing this like a lucky dip. So the first thing that I picked up is a pair of trousers and they are these knitted wide leg trousers. They look super comfy. I really like the color of these. I got them in a size small, which is eight to 10. These were 16 pounds. So could definitely get wide leg trousers for that price, if not cheaper on Pretty Little Thing but they do feel really nice quality, really soft material. Let's hope they're long enough is all I'll say. I figured I should probably do this one next because this is actually part of a two piece set. So I also picked up, oh, I really like this just by looking at it. Next thing is this little top to go with the trousers. It's not as cropped as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm really pleased about that. It's got an elasticated waist. It's got tie up sleeves. I really like this. So far, we are off to a really good start. If these both fit me well, this could be a game changer. This top was £12.50. I'm also gonna try these items on in this haul so you can see what they look like and I can give you my final verdicts. So let's go and try on the little two piece. I see you, Asda. Top, love it so much. Like one of my new favorite tops. I love the sleeves. I love this elasticated bit. It's really soft. The trousers, lovely unless you're any taller than about five foot five because they are definitely ankle grazers on me. <laughs> I'm really sad about it because they fit so well around my waist. They're really flattering, they're really comfy, they're just a bit short. So yeah, if you're any taller than five five, I would say these are a no-go. I think I'm about five seven. They're just swinging a bit, you know? <laughs> One out of two ain't bad. The top is here to stay. The next thing I've pulled out of the Lucky Dip bag is a pair of jeans. Risky business for me, buying a pair of jeans online because they're never long enough. Enough. But these ones are the light wash denim wide leg jeans. I've been looking for some wide leg jeans for a while I picked these up in a size 10 and They do look fairly long, you know, I like the wash of them. They were 18 pounds So really reasonable for a pair of jeans. I don't know whether wide leg are gonna suit me But I'll give it my best shot, but I like the color of them I think even with that last beige top this could be a really cute outfit with like some little trainers a cute little over shoulder bag I'm really crossing my fingers for these jeans. Shut the front door. I am obsessed with these jeans. Oh my God, how nice are they? The bag's not from Asda. I think this was from Pretty Little Thing ages ago. I don't know, but I thought it looked nice with this outfit. How nice are these jeans? I'm actually so shocked. Not shocked because it's Asda, shocked because wide leg jeans never look nice on me. They just don't fit me right. But these ones, look at this waist. I got these in a size 10. Normally the back of these would be gaping, but no, they are super comfy. They're really nice and long as well. So if you're over five foot five, these ones are fine. I love the color of them. I love the fit. I feel like they're gonna go with so many outfits and literally 18 pounds. What the hell? How? 
have I been looking for wide leg jeans for so long and I just had to go to Asda down the road all along. These jeans have even made it to the Insta and that's how you know it's serious business because outfits only make it to the Insta if I really like them. I'm very picky. If this ain't your sign to go and pick up these jeans, I don't know what is. They're so nice. I really, really rate these. I'm not sure why I picked this next item. I've not even got it out of the bag fully yet and I'm having regrets. This is just not my usual wardrobe vibe. Why did I pick this? <laughs> okay, do you know what? The fit of the jumper and the shape looks really nice. It's got balloon sleeves, it's cropped, it feels really soft. I don't think it's gonna be like one of those itchy jumpers. It was 14 pounds, but it's bright green. Pretty sure I got this because they've paired it with that pair of jeans on the website. And me and my tired state placing this order at about midnight probably thought that'd be really nice for spring. It's arrived and I'm thinking, 13 year old Han through the neon phase would love this. 22 year old Han, not so much. But I'm not gonna write it off until I've tried it on. I'm very undecided about this jumper. I feel like these jeans can make any outfit look cool, but in reality, oh, the jumper feels so lovely. It feels really nice quality. The sleeves are really nice and tight around your wrists, so it feels like really snug. It's really soft material. I like the shape of it. I just wish it weren't bright green, you know? Let me know in the comments, guys, what should I do with this one? Because by the time this video goes up, I won't have been to Asda yet. Like, I won't have done any returns. So it's currently still at my house. Do I keep the green jumper or do I return it? I just don't know. I need help. <laughs> Next up. Oh my God, this looks really small. Okay, so I picked up this bodysuit. I really like this. It's got a really nice neckline. I have a few tops from ASOS that are very similar to this, but it looks really nice and long for a bodysuit. It was it's only £12.50 as well and it feels nice. It's ribbed, the sleeves look nice and long. It looks quite small though, but I think it's gonna be nice and fitted. Oh, I've just found a massive flaw in this. It doesn't have poppers at the bottom. What about when you need a wee? You are not gonna be able to let yourself get to the desperate stage of a wee because you will wet yourself. So you have to take off the entire bodysuit. That's the first thing I'm like, I'm not impressed with that. That's let me down. You've let me down. You've let yourself down. I sincerely hope you can redeem yourself in the try on section. I have a few things to say about this bodysuit and that's never really a good sign. It feels lovely. I'm really impressed with the quality of this once again. Everything I've tried on so far has been really, really nice quality wise. But let me show you up close. So you can see this front detail, right? Just here. I feel like it's too high up. I haven't got particularly big boobs, but I feel like they're too big for this. Also, it's really nice in length. Like it doesn't give me a wedgie. It's fine. And normally bodysuits do give me a wedgie. It's really nice and long because it's a stretchy material. But the sleeves are tiny, like so small. And because they're so small, it's kind of pulling the shoulders down. So that's a little bit of an issue. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I have have to be honest because it just feels like it fits me a bit weird I can't really tell why it doesn't fit me right it just feels odd but I really like the neckline and it's a really nice quality and it's really nice in length so those are the positives my first impressions quality feels really nice cheaper than misguided around pretty little thing prices but I would say arguably better than pretty little thing quality bold statement here she is i've been excited for you this is one of the most expensive items i bought so a faux leather jacket it's khaki green it's very very dark green though i got it in a size medium but it looks like it's going to be quite oversized so i'm kind of wishing i got the small medium is the equivalent of a 12 to 14. this was 24 pounds it does feel like really soft plastic and it feels soft on the inside as well not like a leathery material, more like a suede. It's got poppers down the front, so really easy. I feel like as an oversized overshirt, this could be nice. Just feel like it's gonna swamp me though. I wish I'd got a size down. Oh no, not gonna lie. I don't rate it and I'm really sad because it looks really nice on the website. Oh, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't like anything about it on. I'm trying to find the positives. Positives are, feels nice, feels soft. Feels nice on the inside, but the things I don't like, I feel like it's too short. I can't put my finger on why I really don't like it. I just really don't like it. It's just not a bit of me, to be honest with you. I wish it was. Do you know what? Even from this angle, it's okay. I could deal with that. 
it's just as soon as you get to this but uh, I just think nah it's a shame because on the hanger it's a really nice jacket it's probably me that's a problem not even the jacket I can't even blame it <laughs> next thing I got is very in my comfort zone I picked up an oversized sweatshirt so this is like washed brown I do really like the color of this oh it's got a nice big balloon sleeve that's always a bit of me the inside of it feels fleecy that's another thing I like in a sweatshirt how much was this this was 10 pounds so this was the cheapest thing that I picked up I think I'm gonna like that on you know again no I did get a size medium and I think I probably will prefer a small but the style of it I really like so far for cozy days with a pair of beige joggers lounging around the house lovely I actually like the sweatshirt like yeah I probably could have gotten away with a size smaller it is quite wide at the neckline I don't know if that would be a bit better if it was a smaller size but other than that I really like that it's quite big I've just tucked it in at the front which is definitely how I would wear it this is what it looks like when it's not tucked in it's not the best but I don't think I would wear it with these jeans I think I would wear it with joggers um, and have like a really casual loungy outfit and tuck it into the front of the joggers here's a little close-up of the inside of it it's so soft I like the color I like the shape of it it's a win I actually got more than I remember getting so I guess that's better value for money than I thought but the next thing that I picked up is a dress I saw this on TikTok after I placed this order and I was like I've got that coming and people say they like it um, so this is a little ribbed bodycon dress it's got this sort of v-neck detail at the front I think it will end sort of just above my knees and this was 16 pounds I genuinely think this could be on the pretty little thing website or ASOS you know wouldn't look out of place this is the ultimate comfy dress the ribs material is really nice it's very bodycon like it's giving me underwear lines a little bit um, and it's quite a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of a midi dress, but I can totally see why this would be popular. Anyone who's into a short bodycon dress for like a casual day out, I do think I'm more of a jeans kind of gal, but I can totally appreciate what a lovely dress this is. Oh my god, it's like reaching to the end of your stocking on Christmas morning. This is the last item. So this one is what I saw on Lissy Roddy. It's the coat from this picture. Big tan trench coat. And here she is in front of my eyes. Now, trench coats don't usually suit me. It's a bit out of my comfort zone, but I really liked the balloon sleeves. Never seen the trench with that before. Has it got a tie around the waist? Oh, it has the ties at the back in a cute little bow. And this was 30 pounds. Do you know what? For 30 pounds, I actually think this feels quite nice. It's got pockets as well. It doesn't feel really thin, and I thought it would. I wouldn't say it's a thick material by any means. Oh my gosh, hang on. The sleeves are double layered. Hang on a minute. Look, can you see that? It's got like another lining inside it. Wow. Go on, Asda. This is like Zara vibes. Again, I got this one in the size small, which is eight to 10, and I'm glad I did because it looks really oversized. It looks very long. I'm gonna have to just try it on and see what I think because I can't even guess whether I'm gonna like this or not. If Lissy Roddy can do it, doesn't mean I can. <laughs> Let's just all cross our fingers and our toes that in the next clip, I'm not in tears and I don't look like the flasher from Hairspray. Again, I feel like you know what I'm gonna say by this point, but the quality of this coat is really nice. I don't hate it as much as I thought I was going to. I'm still not the biggest, biggest fan, but it's just like, I think it's a confidence thing to be honest. I just feel like to wear a trench coat, you've got to be super cool, super stylish, and I just don't feel I am. I would love it on anyone in the street. Just don't know if I've got the confidence to wear it. I do feel a bit like a flasher. This is what the back of it looks like. It's got the really cute little bow let me tie it up and see if that makes me love it more this could go one of two ways <laughs> okay that definitely went the wrong way now i really feel like a flasher from hairspray yeah that's not a vibe but with it open i think it's the balloon sleeves that are swaying me i really like them and the fact that they're lined they actually do make it puffy it's not gonna like deflate while you're out really nice quality if you're into trench coats i would really recommend it because i do think it's really nice for 30 pounds and that my loves that brings us to the end of this video do you know what my final verdict for asda george clothing i'm gonna rate it an 8 out of 10 because the quality is so nice for the price. Yeah, maybe they're not all my kind of style. I don't love every single item. But judging the brand as a whole, 
I'm very impressed. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite item from this haul? I would love to know. And have you tried any other supermarket clothing? Are you rating Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's? Do they have a clothing section? Please do give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I upload weekly vlogs every Sunday morning. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.